Hey guys, Jacob Serber, Flash Catalyst Product Manager. Uh, today we're going to take a look at, at some of the great workflows in Flash Catalyst CS55, uh, in particular, wireframing and prototyping. So what we see on screen now is a typical wireframe. Uh, you can see we got plenty of gray boxes, all kinds of shades of gray. But what you will start to notice are we've got lots of components on here. We've got buttons, we've got drop downs, we've got input fields. We even have a couple of these new placeholder components. Uh, let's check out the common library. So this is new. Um, here you can see all kinds of Spark components. You can actually visually skin these inside the app, and they're going to work for you inside a Flash Builder. We also have all kinds of placeholder components. So this is FPO content. Uh, it lets you rapidly create your prototype, uh, throw down pictures of avatars, charts, SWIFTs, videos. Uh, whatever you happen to need for the kind of app that you're building. Here you can see a list. So this list has all kinds of stuff going on in it. Uh, first of all, it's being laid out in a grid. We can control the, the padding, the spacing between the elements. But then each element, we can create our own custom states. So as you can see here in our states panel, we've got normal, we've got over, and then we've got selected. They've got different looks. Uh, so here in our overstate, we've got some custom data. We're using our avatar uh, placeholder. If we look at our design time data, uh, you can start to fill out this design time data to customize the way this is going to look uh, in your prototype. So I'm going to switch over real quick to Illustrator. Uh, so here you can see our final comps. Uh, we've got some nicer shades of gray. We've got some blue buttons. Uh, we've got our... our and we also have our stylized buttons, next, previous, back. Uh, I can import all of this artwork into Catalyst with ease and convert this artwork into skins. Cool. So you can see here we've imported our artwork. We've found our buttons. We've given them all the appropriate states. You can see up, over, down, disabled, uh, fully interactive. One of the most requested features that we've had for creating uh, a nice wireframe like this is letting you add constraints. So if I select this container here, you see these little bars. These are our constraint handles. Uh, you can see I can click, and it will unconstraint. We also now have a little handle in the lower right this lets you preview how your app's going to resize. So if I start to move this handle, you'll see the stage change size. You'll start to see the grid reflow. When I let up, it'll just snap back to its original size. So I just zoomed out here and let you see how things really resize. If you check out that top control bar, you can see things stay anchored to the right as I move and snap right back. The exact same behavior that you're going to see in a browser. No wireframing tool is going to be complete without an align panel. I can now select an object, select its background. I can align th I can center things uh, relative to each other, relative to the artboard, everything that you're used to doing in all of Adobe's uh, design tools. So now that I have this artwork imported, uh, I have it constrained on stage. I, I know how it's going to perform in the browser. I need to make it interactive. So we have our interactions panel. The Interactions panel is new and improved. Uh, we have support now for double-click if your app requires. Uh, but we now also give you global targeting. I can select an object, check out the Interactions panel. You can see here I, I'm actually controlling the, the root application from inside of a custom component. This wasn't possible before. Creating custom components in Flash Catalyst, you can start to leverage our managed layouts. Uh, not only tile like we see there in the list, but also horizontal and vertical. So that's just a couple of my favorite features that are really going to help you in wireframing and prototyping. If you want to learn some more, check out Flash Catalyst on the Adobe Developer Connection. Thanks.